And this is one story that keeps getting bigger. The lab leak theory, the possibility that the virus, the Wuhan virus, escaped during risky research projects. The Wuhan laboratory had samples of bad coronaviruses before the pandemic. So what was China doing with these samples? Did they modify them to make a virus that is more lethal? Tonight we have two videos that prove how China was storing bats inside the Wuhan lab and collecting bat coronaviruses and how Chinese researchers were manipulating them. These revelations come straight from the horse's mouth. Shi Zheng Li, the bat woman of China, and Peter Dazak, the man who funded this research. Take a look. This is a story of two videos and one cover-up. Video number one is from the Wuhan lab in China. What you see is a dedicated animal room inside the lab. Bats are locked up inside cages. A scientist is seen feeding a bat a worm. This video is from 2017. It's one of the many propaganda videos that the Chinese state has produced in the past to showcase its progress in science. Fast forward a few minutes you'll find China's bat woman Shi Zhengli herself. She's talking about what they do at the Wuhan lab. After more than 10 years of research, we have proved that the SARS virus originated from bats. In addition, we have found that bats carry many other kinds of viruses, such as adenoviruses. Filamentous viruses also have other types of coronaviruses. The results of our research provide an important basis for the prevention and control of new infectious diseases in the future. That statement is a confirmation. The Wuhan lab did have samples of multiple bad coronaviruses. Samples that China's bad woman, Xi Zhengli, didn't share with the WHO investigators who visited Wuhan in January this year. Why is this significant? This brings us to video number two and this man, Peter Daszak. Increasingly at the center of the Wuhan lab leak theory. Here's what he said in December 2020. No bats were sent to the Wuhan lab. We collect bat samples, send them to the lab. We release bats where we catch them. This man is the president of the EcoHealth Alliance, an NGO that channeled American funds into bat coronavirus research in China. Conveniently, Peter Daszak also happened to be on the WHO team investigating the origins of the virus on behalf of the WHO. But it seems that he's been muddling the probe. First, he said the Wuhan lab stored no bat samples. Then he got the Lancet to reject the lab leak theory. When the pandemic began spreading around the world, Daszak orchestrated a letter in the Lancet that rejected the idea of a potential leak but the skeletons are tumbling out of the Daszak cupboard. A conservative website called The National Interest has unearthed a video from 2016. This is where Daszak publicly admitted that the Wuhan lab was modifying viruses to see if they could bind to human cells. The statement fits the description of gain-of-function research. Then when you get a sequence of a virus, and it looks like a relative of a known nasty pathogen, just like we did with SARS. We found other coronaviruses in bats, a whole host of them. Some of them looked very similar to SARS. So we sequenced the spike protein, the protein that attaches to cells. Then we, well, I didn't do this work, but my colleagues in China did the work. So the Wuhan lab was modifying viruses. The Wuhan lab was also storing bat samples. And from Chinese scientists to American funding agents, everyone kept misleading investigators. After the outbreak last year, Xi Zhengli claimed China had no samples that matched the Wuhan virus. Peter Daszak denied funding risky research. Now, both lies have been busted. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.